Welcome to Tech Brothers with Ahmed. Today we are going to learn how to download a file from FTP server folder to the local folder and then delete the file after we download it to the local folder. Here we are going to learn how to create SSIS package from scratch. We are going to learn how to create FTP connection and some variables such as local path, remote path and file name and how to use those variables in the script task to download that file and after that we know how to delete the file by using those variable values finally we will be using ftp ftp connection in the uh, script task as well and uh, we will check some of the limitation of ftp task for this requirement why we cannot do everything with the ftp task why we have to use the script task so first of all let me show you the ftp server i have a uh, IP address for my FTP you can have ftp.yourcompanyname.com and here in one of the folder sales I have a few files so what I want to do I want to download this file dot t sql dot txt to the local folder here and then I want to delete that from the FTP and to do that we can have multiple options Let's go to SSDT or bids and create a new SSIS package and we call this one download and delete file. Now what we need here we need a few things. First of all I will create some variables. So let me create a variable. What we need we need local folder that will hold the values for the local folder path and I'm going to copy and paste. Why variables are important because you can change the value of them on by using the configuration on different environments and that make it uh, or that make your package dynamic so you don't have to make changes in the package and uh, it is uh, much easy to change the values of the variables by using configuration you can use parameters as well and uh, you don't have to open package every time or in each of the environment next uh, we want to do remote folder and here it is going to be string type as well and uh, backslash sales so it start with mm, this uh, backslash and then uh, you have the folder name and next uh, we will be creating a variable called file name so this will be holding the file name that we want to download and delete in my case it is tsql.txt that's what it is if we can go back and take a look we can copy from here if we want just the name and come back and provide it so we don't make mistakes we it it is looking great next uh, what is happening now we want to download the file first uh, so we can use the FTP connection here we have to build the FTP connection to use in the FTP task so we are going to create a new FTP connection and here you will be providing the IP address or the FTP server name you would not be providing FTP colon backslash backslash if you will provide that here it's going to throw us an error so you we don't have to provide that here you provide your password test the connection looks good and now we are receiving the file so we are downloading the file and where we are downloading the file we have the variable paths so to the local folder and here what we want to do is a uh, remote path is a variable uh, right now if uh, I have I I will select yes that's not true because I have the folder name and the file name but they are not together so I have to create a third third variable and then concatenate with those variables and build the remote path the other way around I can go ahead and do expressions and just in the remote path I can build expressions here I can say remote path is equal to my folder name that's my remote folder plus I can do double quotes double quotes plus sign and then file name so that's how I will build this file name uh, or remote path so folder on the FTP then file on the FTP that's what we need hit ok hit ok and we are all good so this uh, is going to download file for us 
next uh, we want to delete that so that's great we can use the FTP and we have the option to do that first of all we will be using FTP connection here and then uh, we have to say operation delete remote file so that's great is the remote uh, path variable no because we have to create a, a, a third variable that will be concatenation of a remote folder plus file name and we didn't do it so we have to write the expression again so that's where see the variables are really handy if you have to do the same thing over and over why not to do uh, create another variable and write expressions on them and use them so remote folder but here I want to show you how to use the expressions so you can build your own expressions as well so your choice you can go by this way hit ok hit ok hit ok now this is gonna delete the file so if I run this one now it should download the file here and then finally delete the uh, SQL uh, sorry t sql dot text file so let's, let's run the package now and see what happened it is a downloading file right now and then it is deleting the file so we can go ahead and see the file is there and next part we can go ahead and refresh the FTP and see if the file is removed so we can see that the file is removed so that's great but if I come back again and run this package what will happen the package will fail because it is a trying to download the file that does not exist and if and the second part will also fail if the file does not exist and you try to delete that so that's where the limitations of FTP task are uh, they, they, they will fail your package and you see that uh, the package is completing as a failure so that's not great we want to handle that every time we want to run the package if the file is existing we want to download the file and then delete the file if file is not there we just want to complete the package and let's say if our package is running every hour we don't want to run uh, fail the package every hour we want to keep it running if file will be available okay download the file and delete the file and uh, you can keep running all 24 hours so to handle that situation uh, we are going to disable this part and then here we will be going to use uh, the script task so we will be using script task here and inside the script task we will be using visual basic language to write our script and then we will use these variables user variables what we have here we have user file name we have user local folder and then we have user remote folder so hit ok and then hit edit script in this case we are going to do everything in script task now instead of writing the entire script by myself what I have decided let me close this one save it here and change the connection manager name instead of having spaces I'm going to just say FTP connection and open the script task back edit it instead of writing the entire thing here line by line I have already prepared the script for you and you can just copy and paste that but I'm gonna walk you through quickly through the script of what I'm doing here so if you need to make some changes you can go ahead and make those changes so in the sub main we will paste the script whatever we have prepared and then I'm gonna walk you through so here if you see I'm declaring some variables and those are local variables we are using in the script task this uh, stick uh, as a string folder array that can hold multiple folder names and uh, then next we have string file array that can hold multiple file names and this is a local variable that will be holding file name and here we have remote directory and local folder so these uh, uh, variables we will be setting the value by using our SSIS uh, package variables so you see remote directory is equal to dts dot variables and then we provide the variable name and the, then value dot to string so that's how we are setting the remote directory by using the remote folder path from the SSIS package variable and here we are setting the local path uh, uh, variable 
by using uh, the same local folder uh, path variable that we have in SSIS. So the purpose is here if you have to use this multiple places you don't have to rewrite this uh, every time so you can use this one. The, remember the same way we are writing expression over and over. So here I want to get rid of that part so I don't want to use this line again and again and that's why I created these local variables and setting the values. Now once the values are set we are saying dim connection manager as connection manager DTS dot connection and use the FTP connection that we have created in the SSIS package and then acquire the connection. So these two lines will be making a connection or using the FTP connection manager that we have created in SSIS package and then uh, we will be connecting uh, to the FTP server by, server by using FTP.connect. Next uh, we'll be setting a directory on which uh, we want to work and if you guys know that this is a remote directory and uh, that is coming from the remote folder variable so it is sales directory in our case so we will be using this variable and saying okay set uh, this working directory as a uh, uh, our remote directory whatever value we will provide so in this case we have provided sales but if we want to change that to the other folder we can always go back and change to the test folder just in the variable of SSIS package so that give us a more dynamic uh, way to handle the things now this uh, function we are getting uh, all those uh, subfolders from the working directory and we are getting the file names but here we are only interested in the file names and we are saying if string file array is nothing that means this array of file names has con or containing nothing just close that so that means there is no file in this folder what we are looking for but if there is a file so go to else and then use the for each loop and loop through this uh, array of files uh, and get me in the file name each time and then we are checking uh, if a file name that we got from the array is equal to the variable value we have file name variable in SSIS package so if that is equal then what we want to do we want to say dim download array so we, we created an array uh, this is local variable as well and uh, then we uh, in, uh, set in uh, we are setting the value by using the remote directory plus the file name so we are providing the complete path remote directory plus the file name to this download file name uh, file name array so because this function fdp.rc file that does accept array and then we have to provide that that's why i created this local array and then setting the value in this case if there are multiple five files we want to load download we can also provide that here with the commas so that's how we can keep building this array with the mult for multiple files and we can download them in one uh, SSIS package now once uh, this file is downloaded to the local folder and uh, this is the same uh, true and true like override value yes uh, uh, is uh, I uh, ASCII uh, format uh, this is also true we kept it so this one is a false or true this is more important like you want to overwrite or not so this is I, I said okay, okay overwrite it if their file is there and then finally I'm saying FTP dot delete files and I want to delete the file and this is the array that has the remote directory plus the file name so it will be containing that path on the FTP and it will delete that file and then we are ending the if statement and then we go next loop and then we close the connection and this is end if for the main if statement so that's how this is done now let's build it it will be built successfully fine looks good go to the sales and here we are going to take a look instead of uh, let's uh, get the cursor one on this file and download to our local folder so what we need to do here will be only making one changes to the file name so we will be downloading this file by using the script and deleting the file by using the script as well so let's run this one this file is not there yet so if we go here it should be downloaded here in just a second so the file is here now and it is also deleted or should be deleted from the FTP folder 
so here we have sales folder we have to refresh and you can see the file is gone next time remember in the we could we were able to do the same thing with the FTP task but it failed when the file was not present but with the script task if I run it now I didn't make any changes so file is gone it's not there anymore and if I will delete if I will use the script task it is not going to find that file but it will be successful so that's exactly what we want we want to have a package that runs every hour it just complete successful if file is there download it and delete it if not they're just complete successful so see this is the difference by using the script task and that's what we needed to use a script task instead of using a two file FTP task and fail them if file is not present so we handle the situation uh, in the code in the script task if file is not there just complete it with the success so thanks very much for watching this video and uh, the script used in this video will be also available in description and uh, i'm looking forward to see you guys in the next video